In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use a countdown timer. That means in my room here, I need to set a timer, uh, maybe 30 seconds, 50 seconds, until that time is running. You can play the game, otherwise the game is over. So let's see how do we set a timer. When we set a timer, you need to follow three things. The first one is to create an event and set the value for the timer. The second one is set an alarm for it so it's doing the countdown and the third one is to actually draw it on the room. So let's begin with the first one. So the first step in creating a timer is as always we need to create an object. So we'll go to resources and create object and we're going to call this object as obj timer and for this we don't need a sprite because this object is going to be invisible in our room. So now the next thing we need to do is add an event. So we're going to create an event. Now we need to set the value for the timer. So we're going to use a variable. So variable should be in control. And you'll see the variable icons in here. The first one is set variable. We'll track this and drop it here. It's going to ask you the name of the variable and my name of the variable is going to be countdown. Variable is like a container where you could store some values in it. So I'm going to create a container for storing the timer value in it. And I'm going to call this variable as countdown. Now when we, when we give a name to the variable, keep one thing in mind is the naming conventions. By default, variable names will be all lowercase. But in case if you have two words, like I'm going to have as countdown, the second word, first letter, must be in uppercase. And then we need to set the value for the countdown variable. Um, you all know I'm very slow in playing games, so I'm going to keep 50. That would be a good amount for me. But for you, you can set it to 20 or 30 as per your skills and then press OK. Now the next thing I want to do is set an alarm. So I'm going to go to main 2 and I'll see the alarm in timings. I'm going to drag and drop it and it's going to ask me number of steps. I'm going to say 50 and by default it's always going to say alarm 0 and then press OK. Now that I've created my event and initialized my countdown variable to 50 and set an alarm to 50, now I'm going to create an alarm. So I'm going to add an event and I'm going to create an alarm event. I'm going to select the first one, alarm 0. Now what my alarm is going to do is it's going to do the countdown. If my countdown begins with 50, then it's going to do 49, 48, 47 and so on. So the first thing what I need to do is I need to go look for my variables tab and I'm going to set the variable to minus one. So I'm going to drag this, drop it here and you all know the variable name is countdown. And I'm going to set the value as minus one and make sure that you check the relative box because we want to continuously uh, keep uh, minus 1, minus 1 to a countdown. So if it's 50, then 49, then 48, 47, and so on. Press OK. Now we want to check if our variable is 0 or not. That means if our variable, if our countdown variable is 0, then we'll say end the game. Game is over. So again, we're going to look into our variable section here. And I'm going to drag and drop this test variable here. And I'm going to check for my variable if my variable count down is equal to zero. Then what should I do? That means I should go to the next room. So let's go look for next room in main one. And uh, I'm not going to go to next room. I'm just going to go to a different room. So I'm going to drag and drop this different room. And I'm going to select game over and then press ok what if my countdown is not equal to zero what should I do then 
So that means if this is not zero, else I should do something different. So I'm going to go to control, I'm going to drag and drop else, I'm going to go to main two, and I'm going to set my alarm. Number of steps is going to be 50, and my alarm is zero, I'm going to press OK. Now the last thing that I want to do in here is I want to draw my timer on my room. But before I draw my timer in my room, I have to create a font so that I could display how much time is left on my room. So right now I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to go to Resources. And I'm going to click on Create Font. And I'm going to follow the naming conventions for font. So I'm going to say FNT, that's for font. And I'm, my font name is going to be for timer, so I'm just going to call it as timer. And you can select the font type that you like. I'll go with Arial. And size, I'll probably put as 20. And I would like it as bold. And then press OK. Now that I've created my font, I'm going to go to timer and now I'm going to add an event draw event I'm going to click draw now the first thing that I want to do in my draw event is I want to set the font so I'm going to go to draw I'm going to set the font Right now it says no font. I'm going to select the font that I created, font timer. And then it's asking where do I want to align it. You could pick your alignment, whether left, right, or center. I'm going to select center. I'm going to press OK. Now I want to draw a text. So I'm going to select this. This is dry text. I'm going to drag this and drop it here. And I'm going to write what should I draw on the text. I'm going to write time left and at what position you want to give an estimate what would be the value for your x coordinate and what would be the value for your y coordinates so I'm going to just give a random number as 400 and I'm going to give my y as probably 20 and then I'm going to press OK so I want to draw time left text at this location at x value is 400 y value is 20. now the next thing what i want to do is i want to actually draw the value from the variable that means time left how much time is going to be left remember variable countdown has my value stored it starts from 50 onwards so i'm going to go to control and i'm going to draw the variable and I'm going to call it as count down and where do I need to draw because at 400 I have time left so let's put it at 500 I'm going to keep my Y position same as 20 and then press OK now press OK so I have created an event to set my initial value for the countdown timer to 50 and I set an alarm now I created an alarm event to do the countdown that's relative that means it should every time it should start counting down minus one and check to see if the countdown is zero it goes to the game over else the countdown continues and at the end we created a font and drew the text for time left and then added the value of a countdown variable in there. So I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to go to my room 3 and in here I'm going to add my timer. So I'm going to go to objects. I'm going to select my object. Now I'm going to go to my room 3 and in here I'm going to add my timer. So I'm going to go to objects. I'm going to select my object timer and I'm going to put the timer in here. I'm going to press the green check and I'm going to test it and see if it works. You must have uh, noticed that I changed the sequence of my room because I wanted to test my room 3 first. I didn't have to go through room 1, room 2, room 3 so I changed the sequence to just show it to you so that it's faster. 
I'm going to click on start, it would go to my room 3. And guess what? I don't see my timer here. Oh, I do see the timer in here. It says time left is 44, 46. So, um, we need to change the color of the font. So, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to go to object timer where it says draw, where it says draw the text, time left, just above that, I am going to, I think, set the color. Let's try this. And I'm going to set the color to white. Press OK, press OK. Now let's press OK and then test it again. <laughs> 